Christmas Day 8. Um, today our dad is coming home and the garage is a mess. I know it's his job to take care of it, but it's a pigsty and we're just tired of walking through it. It needs to get done anyway, so I'm going to try to get as much done as I can before our dad gets home. And I already accidentally started, but it was a lot worse than this. These debt were all in here, com uh, piled up right here. So you can see I already did a lot of damage in here, even though I only took out a few things. So I'm going to be working on this today, trying to get all his stuff organized. Maybe I'm going to try to organize that shelf and this shelf so we can add some more of our dad's stuff in there if we can. So as you can tell, he just has all his stuff on his workbench and it's just not pretty to look at and not fun to haul around. So I'm just going to be trying to do a time lapse to see how much I can get done. And the baby's out here with me. She's in the shade. We're just chilling. Moose. Psst. Hi. It's a little bit of sun in your eyes or something. You good? Okay. Starting time lapse. Got a new card for the camera because our last clip from yesterday's or today's video is supposed to go up. So, but we have to continue to clean in here. Gotta get back to work. <laughs> Actually, do I want to bring this closer? No, I don't. Do I? Mm. I kind of do. So I'm just gonna. So you can see. No, you can't. Jeez. Uh, there. That looks good. We're good. We're leaving it. Everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. We are just sitting down to, oh, she is done. Livy is being very sweet and holding the baby so I can scarf down my food, which I'm not doing. I'm vlogging instead. Oh, is that working? <laughs> it works. She likes it. It seems to currently be working, sort of. Her face is on the fence. Yeah, no. We are having some homemade ramen. Well, homemade as in not purchased. But we get these organic ramen noodles from Costco. And also this incredible leftover Thanksgiving, no, leftover stock, no. Stock from the leftover turkey carcass from Thanksgiving, woof. Um, and I put some diced tomatoes, some spinach. I've also got mushrooms um, and egg in mine. It's super yum. And what else are we having, Ben? We're also having, you, uh, I think uh, we, mom had leftover dominoes. You're right. Speaking of a few days ago, how long have you been wearing that shirt, pal? Two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I already did some cleaning off camera. Reorganized. I'm gonna put those bins hopefully up there if I can, or if I'm strong enough. But organize this hole. So this is or this whole unit, and I'm working on this one. Uh, so I have letters jars. I don't know what this is, but this is here along with that and that. So those all have their own little category. And then we have lampshades, lamp stuff, lights, and then we have different containers. So bowls, uh, whatever this is, a bin, some trays, and 
then we're hopefully gonna have paintings I think right there I will fill you in once I'm done but I got I only have an hour left and I gotta get cranking this probably deeply satisfying time lapse for an important announcement. What are we doing? I don't know. Oh, also my garland fell. We think Holly climbing on it the other day knocked it over. But there is this one specific image on Pinterest that I was completely enamored with. It started the terracotta obsession and then it just kind of grew from there. Um, and so I was on a hunt. Nay, a mission, if you will, to figure out how to recreate this. And I literally scoured the internet, scoured the internet for small, noble fir trees. Oh, thank you very much. Libby's holding down the box. Because I'm too impatient to cut it all the way, which is just taking longer. Ha ha ha! Look at that. So, do not open with sharp object or instrument how am i oh hey lighting is this better so it says to not open with a sharp instrument but i'm like how else do you get through packery packing tape look at me rebel without a cause hey, what did they expect you to open this with your hopes and dreams hey. <laughs> yikes <laughs> no big deal we just have about two and a half hours until Elias is home and I have a laundry list of things to accomplish and I'm not doing any of them. One of them actually includes laundry. But no, I got a package, so I gotta stop everything I'm doing. <gasps> Look at this base. This, I didn't even buy it for this base. It's got, okay. Is that a Christmas tree? Yeah. Should I hold this? Oh yeah. Hold okay. There you go. It's not flat though. That's it's annoying. a rocking it's, tree. It's a rocking tree. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bend these down. This is so cute. So it comes out. They come out. So it is a 25 inch. Thank you. Uh, noble fur. I wanted something super sparse because again, I've been really enamored with that old world Christmas look. So I'll toss up, wait, actually, can you go get a terracotta pot for me out of the greenhouse? One that will fit this. That is so annoying that that's not flat. Olivia has just informed me that we don't have any pots that fits this. Fits, that will fit this. Scratch that. <laughs> There's huge pots that fit it, but. They're too big. They're way too big. I have a plan. But I think this basket's ruined. I, this is gonna sound like sacrilege to some of you, but I think I gotta get rid of the basket. How is it? It is a cute basket though. It is cute, but like, my vision is not gonna work though. Man, that was gonna be such a good reveal. Yeah. I don't wanna show you my inspo photo yet until I can figure something else out. Should we open the other one? No, cause it's four of the same thing. <laughs> so five total. <laughs> oh yeah, your plan is really screwed. My plan is screwed. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank, Thank you so much. Um, well, onward and upward. Well, that was a total fail. <laughs> mm. I was so looking forward to this, too. Oh, well. We will soldier on. Did I already say that? I feel like I already said that. Oh, well, it's stuck in my head now. I'm gonna take all the kids' books and place them in this basket, which is funny because we don't really read them. They just come out every single year. We don't read them, but they just live in this basket. Oh, I should put the nativity in here too. But then, once these are out, we can place them next to the fireplace. So the next time we have a fire, if we feel like reading the night before Christmas, we've got it ready to go. Close enough. For now, I'm just gonna toss you. For now, we're just gonna go into a time lapse of me generally cleaning up this space. Uh, the plan of attack is for hand wash to be done, aka all of the dishes, because our dishwasher is still not working. 
Um, clean up this space. Livy needs to come through and vacuum. All of us need to shower. And then I'd like to do something fun before daddy gets home. I gotta get steak out. I gotta do that right now. I'm gonna attempt to cook the steak tonight. Nobody hold their breath, but I'm gonna try. So now I just need to figure out what cuts we have. Let's go do that. Oh dear, it's a mess in here. What, what cuts do we have? What, my love? Oh, I had a design idea and it totally failed. Oh no. I know, I don't have any pots big enough. I can show you the picture. It's supposed to be super cute. Okay, I think I can probably do sirloin. That's about one pound. Might not be. Okay, I can do two sirloins. Let's do that. That's a, that's a name of, of steaks I know, right? And then I don't have to dig too far. Look at that. Oh, kitty. You're about to get cold. I like you, kitty. Forty minutes, kiddo. That was really bad. We haven't had one of those in months, huh? But she did have an upset tummy last night, so we had to change her diaper multiple times, huh? I'm sure you can imagine why. Cause who doesn't love pooping their pants at two in the morning, right? Right? <laughs> so now I have a sidekick, huh? You gonna help Mama? You gonna be my sidekick? Yeah. Yeah. Are you kicking? Kick. And now you're gonna stop at your feet are on camera. What do you think? What do you think? Let's go check on Isabella. Somebody did work. Oh wait, I'm not gonna film the parts that she has not done work on. But she organized my decor shelves. Kiddo. Right here. You've been working me so hard out here. Right here is where a bunch of stuff was. I know. So she has it all pulled out, and now we got to figure out you getting it back in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It I, is just, good. It's, I was planning on trying to pull as much as I could out, and then putting it back in as organized as I could. That's smart. Well, why don't you start pulling it back in, because Dad will be here in like just Hi under two hours. Oh no. That's okay. <laughs> I love when you see your face on camera and you get so cute. Someone <laughs> kicked Tushy. My hands are dirty. Your hands are dirty. Do you want to go show them how, all the hard work you did? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I did this from myself. Over here is good. It's all, it's all organized. Good. Up there is organized. Over there is organized. Up there is organized. You're gonna love the house as well. The house looks so clean. I I'm know. not even. I'm not even joking. From when I came out to when I went back in, was a uh, like. Significant difference. A significant difference, like a huge difference. Yeah. It's it's, it's cute and decorated and everything too. I know. I love it. I'm so excited. Daddy is about eight minutes away from home, so I figured I'd give you a nice little tour of how we got everything looking. What do you think, Sai Sai? Oh wait, come here real quick. We gotta fix this before we show the people. Come here. Close those doors and put the extra saucer like over there so you don't see it. Hold on, I know what we're forgetting. Excuse me? This is one of my favorite hacks. If you have YouTube on your television, you can get vintage Christmas TV scene. Well, I was thinking I would just do something like this awesome. for now. Yeah, we'll just do this one for now. So usually I'll play an ad at the beginning. Um, it'll actually be two hours of this. So even if you don't have a frame TV, you can, but you do have YouTube on your television, you can just pull this up and it, this will literally just be chilling for two hours. Should we light those, turn those candles on? I think we should totally should. Yeah. Can you reach all of them? 
they, it literally looks like how they sway at Hogwarts. So he's gonna come in, it's gonna be all nice and glowing. We're just gonna pretend that this stuff's not right here. We're gonna hope his eyes stay up, right? Right. Um, can the whiteboard be pushed in any further? It's amazing how much dirtier things seem when you look through a camera lens. <laughs> and then coming into the living room is just, everyone killed it. Kiddos did amazing, amazing. Um, Isabella, can you put that I or the iPad? That's a tripod. It did have your iPad on it earlier. It did. Um, and then what do we do with these last few dishes? Because now he should be here in like three or four minutes. Have a smell them. Oh, my shush. Favorite animal. You good, baby? My bed hurts a little bit. <laughs> so we are going to do sirloin. This is actually from a local farm. We love Gooch Family Farm. Um, we're considering getting a half cow from them. So I have two sirloins. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to Google it so hard, right? Yes. And then I'm going to be making risotto. A lot of people think, think that this is a very complicated dish, but it's not. It's so easy. It just takes time and you have to slowly add broth in. Uh, but it's going to take me probably about an hour. So I should get started on that right now. <laughs> Whoops. So the key to a good risotto um, is one, a heap, this, this keeps falling out, sorry, nuts. One, a heap ton of time, just to be patient and slowly add broth at the same time because what's, or slowly add broth, um, eat like about half cup at a time usually. Um, and as you do that, the rice will slowly release all the starches that will give it that creaminess. So it's not any sort of cheese um, or milk. It, added to it, but it's just the actual arbo arboreal rice releasing that starch. If you add the broth slowly enough, then that's where you get that really, really nice texture and nice creamy consistency. And also, that's stuck to my elbow. <laughs> and also, you have to start with a hot broth or a warm broth because every time you move the broth over, if it's not around the same temperature as the risotto that you're cooking, um, it halts the cooking process. So you have to bring it back up to temp and if it's too cold, it halts the cooking process again. So you wanna keep your broth about the same temperature as you have your rice um, as it's soaking up and letting off those starches in the next dish over. Is that him? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's already recording. Don't run too fast. Come down faster. Focus, 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 focus. <laughs> First step is to, um, I forget how much the original recipe calls for, but I dice up an entire larger onion and get that sauteing in some olive oil. This is much easier to do, not one-handed. Hold on. I love a bench scraper for this. Look at that. You were on electronics almost all morning, bud. Now I'm gonna leave these on medium high heat to saute for just a bit before tossing in some minced garlic <laughs> that we store upside down so it comes out more easily. And like with every single recipe that calls for garlic, I measure with my heart, okay? I don't let a recipe tell me how to live my life. <laughs> so some some recipes will call for like, a, like I don't know, a clove or two of garlic. I'm like, you, you put seven wrong. Or 12. I love a garlicky, herby risotto. So we'll definitely be emulating that tonight. Emulating. We'll be making that tonight. You know what I'm saying. Okay, this is the hardest part about cooking. Sometimes you just have to let stuff sit. But sometimes I just want to play because it makes me feel chefy. Okay. Onions have started to take... Oh, I should film it from the side. Started to take on some color. And quite a few of them are turning translucent. So I... I'm going to fire my son. You're fired. I'm gonna add in a little bit more olive oil and then toss in some of that garlic. Mm -hmm. That's like three cloves, right? And this will brown up a lot more quickly. A lot of recipes say to cook until fragrant, about 30 seconds, but I like a tish more color on mine. So I'm actually gonna stir it around, make sure it's all mixed in with that, um, and get my arborio prepared. <laughs> Just pretend like you can't hear the wrestling in the background during my deeply aesthetic cooking. This recipe calls for only two cups of rice and serves, well it says it serves eight people and it serves our family of five as a main dish with enough leftovers for like one person. So I guess to us, 
eight servings means more like six. <laughs> Now the garlic is nice and cooked up, but we've also used up all of that olive oil for that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. So the rice has something to cook in and get a little toasted. There's one cup and two cups. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna get it a little toasted in color. So just looking for a little bit of golden brown. Not, it looks way more brown brown in camera across the board than it actually does in person. I think it might need a little bit more oil still. Let's add some more in. Insert around or toss the coat, if you will. This is exactly what we're looking for. So you can see some of the kernels are a lot more toasted and golden brown. We'll just add another, from what I understand, I just follow the recipe, but it'll add another depth of flavor to it. At this point, I will add in about half a cup of wine, a white wine, preferably dry, to deglaze the pan, so get up all of those cooked bits off the bottom. And then once this absorbs, I will start the process of moving my broth over about half a cup at a time. You like how I motioned with the camera so you could see how the scooping would go? And this process will take at least 30, if not 45 minutes. Half the allure is just grabbing a glass of wine, throwing on a cute apron, hanging out with your husband. That's you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> just enjoying time in the kitchen. Okay, it's been about six minutes-ish, because I just looked to see how long I was filming this. Um, and I think I have two cups of liquid in so far, simply because it absorbs it super quickly in the beginning. So what I look for as I'm cooking this is, you can kind of, I gotta be careful of all the steam so it doesn't fog up the lens. You can kind of see some of this liquid right here, right? But it has a different viscosity to it than the broth itself. So this has been fully absorbed. Just completely absorbed. So it is ready for its next half cup which I like to use, okay, wait for that to clear. <laughs> I like to use my Pyrex cup so I can just kind of keep an eye on it and I eyeball it, it's not perfect. Yep, that's a little more than half a cup. And I will stir to incorporate and just slowly keep stirring. Sometimes I'll let it sit for a minute or two, but this is not the kind of meal you want to abandon um, or stop paying attention to because you need to make sure that the liquid, I don't know, I just read the rules. You gotta make sure the liquid is well distributed so all of the rice is absorbing it evenly instead of just pouring it and hoping it soaks in effectively. I think it's because you add it in such small doses. I think it's because you add it in such small doses that it gets absorbed really quickly so you could end up burning the rice if you're not more careful about tending to it. So you can see that this is falling back together really quickly. It's not ready for the next half cup still pretty liquidy, especially like, watch the liquid right there. See how quickly that moves, almost more like water? We wanna wait till it's a little bit thicker. We are reaching the end of the cooking time. I don't know how much elapsed time has passed, but I just tossed a bunch of nutritional yeast on top. It's so high in B vitamins and tastes like Parmesan. So um, I'm not gonna name any names, but someone in our family has a little bit of a rough time with cheese sometimes or dairy products in general and doesn't know how to stop himself. So I like to substitute a little bit of that <laughs> cheesy flavor with some nutritional yeast. Um, and it's probably do a total of like four, maybe five tablespoons. And then I will of course use salt and pepper to taste. I know I mentioned making it herby earlier, but I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty classic. Um, salt, pepper, do some butter on it, as well as um, the nutritional yeast. I will do some freshly grated Parmesan 
um, straight off the block right on top when we're ready to eat. But this is what two cups, two cups of Arborio rice turn into this. Isn't that insane? That looks, it looks like slop, let's be real. It looks like slop, but I know what it tastes like and it's delicious, right? Are you so tired? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. You notice that I'm doing this on my husband's plate, not mine, because mine's not cute. Fresh cracked pepper. Just. Oh, that is satisfying. Okay, now I'm gonna do, go do mine off camera, but that looks pretty. <laughs> Full disclosure, we had one aesthetically pleasing one just for the clip, and the rest of them look something like this. So the meat still looks delicious, it's just not like laid down neatly. <laughs> so our meal tonight is garlic pepper risotto um, with a homemade turkey and beef stock kind of mixed together because I didn't have enough beef stock for it. But if you have enough beef stock for the whole thing, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it because it gives it the best flavor of all time. Um, I ended up using closer to 12 cups of broth instead of the eight that the recipe called for, for our size and this arborio is a little different than what I've worked with in the past so def definitely took a little getting used to the toothsomeness of it um, and I also roasted some zucchini and some yellow squash and then we have some sirloin that Elias ended up grilling for me I was uh, grilling up right alongside me which was super sweet I was prepared to though you guys know sorry for being aggressive with a fork but you know that I was prepared to cook the steak should I need to unfortunately it's now 8 36 so it is almost 40 minutes past my son's bedtime and we have not eaten yet. So you can withhold my mother of the year award um, for until like maybe tomorrow. But there is about this, this much left in this pot. So maybe enough for a lunch and a half, right? I should not have put food in my mouth in the middle of this clip. I hate mouth noises. I'm sorry for anyone else who does that I just did this to us as a people. I'm gonna go, we're gonna eat some food. I'll catch you in the next clip. Oh, it might have been a no makeup day. It might have been a very messy hair day, but we made a delicious meal together. I hope you enjoyed it. Please try risotto, please try it. It is so much easier than you think. I believe in you. I know you can do this. Plus, it's very impressive. Impress your friends with making risotto or just yourself. Personally, when I make it, I never wanna share it, ever, but I have to, because they're like children or whatever. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I am so tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here after I'm done putting my batteries away. You guys wanna see how I hide these? So this is at the end of our island, and this is where I charge batteries for this vlogging camera. So instead of leaving them out, I put them in this little jar, and then I'll place the batteries in there, kind of like on top, and this, ta-da! <laughs> They're never gonna know. I, ju I just don't wanna look at them. It's 100% unnecessary, but quite fun. So I had to like explain to two different children today. I'm like, no, it's, it's in the jar underneath the plant on the green sideboard in front of the window. And they're like, what's a sideboard? What's a plant? Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you, see you tomorrow. Night guys.